this is the hint for the exam for permutation analysis for genetic interaction network. Uh, to complete this question, you first need to uh, generate a directory which contain all the necessary data set. So we need the genetic interaction data set. Uh, this is actually a publication by Constanzo 2009. And then we also need an evolutionary uh, distance data set, sc.spa, kks.csv. We also need a growth fitness uh, data set. So what I have done is to generate a directory which contain all uh, the oh, four <coughs> data, uh, three data sets for this question. I also this uh, also put the protein interaction uh, data here, the pairs. That's for the second question. So for this question, we need the uh, growth fitness uh, evolutionary data, and uh, that's the genetic interaction data. So. <coughs> Uh, we first uh, can read uh, into read the genetic interaction data into pairs. Now, this is kind of a bit of a trick. I basically modify the previous uh, script for the protein interaction data analysis, and the protein track data is called pairs. So I basically kind of a, 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 a trick. Say I basically replace the file name of the protein interaction data with the genetic interaction data. Now these two data have slightly different format. This is why I use read dot uh, delimitary because this one is using a different uh, slightly different format. And this one also doesn't have a header. And <coughs> after I read into it, uh, I rename the columns called OF1 and OF2, so it will be consistent with the protein interaction data. And, and then I basically use the same thing. Uh, I don't have to change the rest of the script. I can just run everything uh, all the way uh, to the permutation part, and that's my uh, function to calculate uh, the difference between evolution and rate. That's the observed difference between the evolution uh, distance in interacting pairs. And then we use the round simulation. Now, although I put a 100 here, but you should use 1,000 if you want to get full credit for your submission. Uh, and then I use sample command to generate a, a permutated uh, list. Partition them into F1 or F2 and generate a new pairwise interaction network and calculate the delta k again. So we do that for a thousand times and we can generate a, a histogram. And this uh, now to calculate the p value uh, we basically take all those observations which is more extreme than my uh, all those simulated uh, delta k, which is more extreme, in this case less than my observed delta k observation, and the number of those uh, out, a number of those simulated uh, entries, small extreme than my observation, divided by the total number of simulation, and that is the p value. So there's a p delta k p value. This is p value. Um, and then generated a figure. Now this figure isn't very nice because that's because the those the limit are generated based on protein factor data. So this one, if I want to adjust, it looks like it's point three five and something point four five. Let's see what whether this will happen. No. Uh, Okay, so well, we can use the default. To see what happened. Default is point oh three or point oh three four. Okay, I'm going to use that point oh 
3 and 0 0.0 for 0 oh that's still too high 0 0.03, 0.035 but this is a very sharp distribution apparently okay now this is better uh, but this one, uh, the 5.5 uh, is also pretty small, so I'm going to change this to 50. And this one also to 50. Okay, now, uh, hmm. 50 is probably also too, it looks like, uh, 150 is more appropriate. Yeah, oh, maybe even more than that. Uh, 70. And well, it's actually out of the range, so I'm going to also add a different one, say so y limit equal 0 to 200. So this way I'm going to have room for the Tax. Okay. So, and this is really uh, uh, just try and error here to, to get a better, nice looking graph. And um, well, if we want to be a more particular, maybe 180 sounds even better. Uh, yes. Yeah, 180. So then we kind of likewise do the same thing for the thinness uh, in YPD, delta YPD. And for, again, for full credit, you should do uh, at least 1,000 simulation. And this is also the p-value. And we can generate the histogram. Let's see how this one looks like. And this one is also too sharp. So I'm going to try with 0.05. And the other one is 0.15. And it looks like, uh, let's see how this goes. Yep, that's still too sharp. 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Okay, this is closer. 0.01. Oh, okay. And that's very good. And it looks like uh, I need to apply a similar method, let's say y limitation equals c0 to, this time I'll probably say 2 to 5. And this probably need to be 2 10, 2 10, 2. Okay, maybe change it to, to 50 and to, to 10 to 5. Okay, and anyhow, this is right in the middle. 